Hello students, welcome to lecture number 20. In today's lecture, we are going to see QMP5 that is improvement and QMP6 that is evidence based decision making. I welcome all of you. I am Professor Rushikesh Vikwale, working as an assistant professor in Department of Civil Engineering in Sanjeevani College of Engineering, Kopargaon. Let us start with the lecture number 20. So, QMP5 principle is improvement. The statement is as follows. All the successful organizations have an ongoing focus on the improvement. See, the beautiful sentence given by this ISO. Successful organizations, they will always try to improve. That is why they are successful. If you see the reputed organizations, the MNCs and all, they always try to innovate something, always try to create different thing, out of the box thinking. So you have to concentrate on the improvement day by day. That is why you will get the new technology, new modifications in your project or in your product or the service or the result. This is what. It explains as follows. Improvement is an essential for an organization to maintain the current levels of performance or to react to the changes in its internal as well as external conditions and to create new opportunities. That is why improvement is very important. I will give one example of one of the leading smartphone company, Nokia. Previously they are based on the Symbian operating system developed by Nokia corporations. Okay, it's a Swedish company. But they have not improved, they have not updated themselves because in the era of 2012, when the changes uh, you can say occurred over there and the android system come into the market but nokia company they have not understand this and then really not accepted this challenge of acceptance of the android so rest the thing you are knowing you know what you can say things that going in when okay of the Nokia company. So this is what if you will not improve you can't stand in the market. You have to accept the changes. You have to react the changes because the successful companies they always focus on the improvement. You will get the key benefits as follows by this. First you will get the improved process performance, the organizational capabilities and customer satisfaction also. Second, there will be the enhanced focused on root investigation and the determination. Okay, you will get the prevention and the corrective actions also by following this. Also, you will get the enhanced ability to anticipate and to react the internal and always as well as external risk and opportunities. Also, you will get enhanced consideration for both incremental and the breakthrough improvement also. Also, you will get the improved use of learning for improvement. What you have learned from previous or past experiences, why should we improve? That learnings you can get and you will get the consideration also. So, this is improvement is the challenge that you have to accept and you have to start working in this. Every successful company follows this improvement challenge and they establish their R&D cell different. You know company wide okay, hierarchy, company wide organization culture, every company successful company they will have R&D in their organizations. 
development and improvement are you can say the one and the same thing you have to develop something you have to research then and then the projects products or the services that can be modified and can be accepted by the people because people know they are demanding the change changes okay change is the need of the time okay that is what next actions that you can take you can promote the establishment of the improvement objectives at all levels of the organization next you can educate and train the people at all levels that is how to apply the basic tools and the methodologies to achieve the improvement objectives also you can ensure the people those are competent to successfully promote and to complete the improved projects also you can develop and deploy the processes on implementing the improvement projects throughout the organization next you can track you can review you can audit the planning or implementation completion or the results of improved project this all benefits you can get this all the things you can get these all actions you can take next also <coughs> the qmp principle number 6 that is based on evidence based decision making okay you need the evidences for decision making because the decisions that are based on the analysis and the evolution of the data and the information that are more likely to produce desired results you should have the evidence first then you can start evolution and the analysis you have to convert that information into the data by sorting that and that will going to lead the organization to produce the desired results desired commitment given to the customers okay i will explain this by suppose decision making can be complex process but it always involves the same uncertainty because if you think often uh, the involvement of the various in multiple types and the resources of the inputs as well as their interpretation that is very subjective okay so it is very important that to understand the cause and effect relationships and the potential unintended okay consequences that you have to concentrate okay you have to understand the facts also the evidences you have to collect and thereby you have to start a data analysis that will lead to the greater objectivity and the confidence in the decision making because only facts are not successful only you can say the history it is not the good history is not you can say the enough thing to make a decision you have you should have the evidences because the evidence based analysis that will give you the better results by taking this evidence based analysis in organization you will receive following key benefits first your decision making process will going to be improved or your operational effectiveness and efficiency also will get improved this is because the decision making is based on the facts not based on it is based on the evidences not based on the facts also the there will be the increase in the ability to review to challenge and to change the opinions and the decisions also there will be the increase in the ability to demonstrate the effectiveness of the past decisions those decisions you have taken in the history you will take the audit of it and you can demonstrate how these are the effective if these decisions are based on the evidences next following are the actions that you can take with the help of this evidence based decision making 
first you can determine can measure monitor the key indicators to demonstrate the organization's performance you can make all the data that is that is needed that is to be available to relevant people you can ensure that the data and the information are sufficiently accurate and reliable and all are secure you can analyze and you can evaluate also the data and the information using suitable methods like qc tools if you have the evidences because qc tool needs evidences the data you, they required because they are not on the facts they required the data to them next you can ensure the people those are competent they can analyze and evaluate the data as and when they required next the you can make the decisions and you can take also the actions based on the evidence the balance decisions you can take with experience and with institution because this all facts you can convert that facts into the decision making process if the facts is having the evidences all the decisions you have to take based on the evidence not on the facts facts are also important funders also important but decision making required the evidences that is the qmp principle number 6 states okay this is about today's lecture okay two principles we have seen today in next lecture we are going to see another principle Thank you